well, with US Open coming around the corner, it's important that we get in some talks. So today we have with us Najaf Shah from the Somerset Cavaliers, who will also be leading the side. And they're also the defending champion. So it's definitely going to be exciting to talk about what the team has planned for this year. So how are you doing? I am very good. Thank you very much. How are you today? I'm doing well. Obviously, you know, if the COVID situation hadn't been there, I would have been doing a lot better, but we have to do what we have to do. So how has the situation been for you, you know, in terms of cricket? I mean, you know that due to the COVID, everybody's suffering. Yeah, but uh, from last two, three months, I started playing. Actually, I played a couple of tournaments around the US. Those tournaments uh, went very well. We won the championship and uh, definitely we are looking for the US Open. You know, this is the biggest tournament in U in US and especially for the our team because we are the defending champions and from last three years, we are doing really good in this tournament. Um, so yes, uh, we are uh, very much ready for it. Yeah, and it sounds like you're ready. I mean, being like, you know, you've been ha playing cricket all over and then doing well as well. So it feels like, you know, you're ready to get there. Um, lead your team again to another trophy. Correct. You know, I am a professional actually, so it's my job to play cricket. So I always ready, I will say, yeah, because I'm playing cricket as a professional from last 17, 18 years. Yeah. So I will say cricket is in my blood now. So yes. Yeah. No, I mean, obviously, I mean, that's the thing, especially, you know, probably having to spend a few months, you know, without really playing cricket, maybe training, but not getting a chance to play. But luckily for you, you know, nothing's, nothing's been changed, obviously, but without all that experience that's coming. So it'll definitely be exciting to see, you know, how the performance goes and continues at the U.S. Open. Now, tell us a little bit about your U.S. Open journey. You know, you've been with U.S. Open for many years as well. So what, how has the tournament kind of, how have you seen it change? I feel like, you know, every year it's getting better and better. So what have you seen from the growth of U.S. Open and even from you going every year performing and how it's been adding to your cricket as well? Right. Okay. So let me go back a little bit to like from 2016. Okay. So that was the year when I first came for the US Open and I came for the smart choice basically. But uh, unfortunately that year tournament ran off. Yeah. I, I believe you know that. Yeah. Or you heard about that. Yeah. So we could not play enough matches. I, I know we only played two matches that year. Then in 2017, I played for the US All-Star. And they won the championship, they won the tournament, and this is the first time they won the US Open. And I was the best bowler of the tournament. I, I was the man of the match of semi-final and final. And from 2018, I joined the Somerset Cavalier. Yeah, and 2018, I led Somerset Cavalier and we won the tournament again. Yep. And in 2019, uh, we, uh, uh, sorry, 2018, yeah. We lost the final and then 2019 we won the tournament against yeah, again. Yeah, I played for the Somerset Cavalier. And this year again I am playing for Somerset Cavalier, but this year tournament is a little bit different. Yeah, you know that before that, like 20 or 30 teams played this tournament, but this year we have only eight teams. And uh, I am expecting much more uh, tougher competition this year, uh, much more better matches. I mean, I was talking to my players and my guys that you will get the tough matches from very first match. Yeah, usually we get easy matches, like first two matches, and that's good to build a momentum. But this year, picture is different. Yeah, and we will get a tough match from very first game. So make sure you are ready for it. So yes, so <laughs> tournament, it looks like tournament will be much better and tougher this year and hope uh, we will manage it in the COVID actually. That's, that, that is most important for us. Yep, yep, Stay yep. safe and play cricket. Yeah, we'll touch a little bit on that COVID, but, you know, just touching upon the eight teams and, you know, that each match will be critical, you know, so depending on who you're up against, you don't know, you know, how it's going to go because each match is going to really matter. So now we won last year, basically, you guys won last year. And then, so you have most of those core players as well. And then you've also had your addition of Andre Russell, who was with you guys in 2018 as well. And you have a lot of other foreign players as well. So how is that preparation with the team going, you know, trying to make sure that despite all of you guys coming together in Florida, that, you know, you'll still be able to kind of make sure that you guys work together, you know, and start off from the first game and make sure you guys are ready to go. 
Right. So uh, I will say most of uh, our team players, we are playing together from long time. Okay, from last three four years, I will say. Uh, we added uh, Andre Russell in 2018, and uh, unfortunately, we lost the final. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in 2017 and 2019, uh, there were not big name in our squad, but chemistry was very good, and we played some good cricket. I will say. Yeah. 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 We played as a team. We played as a unit, and we won the tournament. But Russell is always a big name of T20 cricket, I will say, and uh, anything, any anyone like him in your squad, give you a big boost. Yeah. So, yeah. yes, I mean it's a plus point for us, and uh, our preparation is good. I mean all other players they are playing, they are practicing right now, and uh, they are looking forward forward for this tournament. Yeah. So what what about U.S. Open? Do you always look forward about? I mean, you know, especially in America, it's one of the biggest tournaments that happens. You actually get to see a lot of high-level cricket happen, and you know, despite the situations this year, we're still you know putting on the tournament. So, what about U.S. Open really attracts you and makes you want to play cricket? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, everybody knows that U.S. Is, U.S. Open is one of the biggest cricket tournaments in the U.S. And a lot every year, a lot of international players come and participate in this tournament. And this is really good for the U.S. cricket because when the local players play with the international players or against the international players. So they, they know what is the level of skills they need to improve to compete on, on the international level. Yeah. So it's always good, yeah, and it's always good for me actually. Yes, yeah, good experience. I mean, um, uh, you are playing for a team and your players, they all coming from the different countries and you make a team and you play like a team. So it's always good, I will say. Yeah, what has been one of your favorite memories? Okay, so uh, I will say 2017 when I played for the U.S. All-Star. That is the year for me, I will say, which introduced me in the cricket in the U.S. basically, when I became a best bowler of the tournament and I won the matches, especially semi-final and final for them. So I always count that year always good for me, I will say, and uh, special for me. Yeah. And, you know, being with Somerset, you know, for the past few seasons as well, what about Somerset? you know, has really kind of kept you, you know, making sure that, you know, you're with the team and you're also leading as a captain. So how has it been, you know, being with Somerset and the journey? Okay, so, I mean, um, I will go back again, like in 2017, I was playing league cricket in DC, yes. So someone um, reached me for the Somerset Cavalier, okay, and he reached me that there are two teams, uh, sorry, they, are, they have a team and they play Saturday Sunday leagues, okay. So are you available? So I was playing like Saturday in the DC. I said, okay, yeah, I'm available. So I started my journey with Somerset Miller from there. Okay, I started playing league matches. And after that, you know, I mean, when I came Somerset Miller, I did some uh, very good performances over there. Yeah, I won the matches for them. And after some time, uh, uh, I built some very good relation with the team on the Slum Farm. He's a yeah. cricket lover. Yeah, he loves cricket, basically, I will say. And he... He never think about the money and stuff like that. He always uh, uh, hire good players and he always promote the cricket, I will say. So from there, I have a very good relation. And when he put up, okay. So the interesting thing, when he was, when he put the team in this US Open in 2017, I will say yes. So I already signed or engaged with the California beer, okay. And on the last moment, he said, look, I am putting the team and I need you. I said, Aslam, uh, look, I already confirmed with them and this is not good. He said, no, 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 no. Please talk to them. I want you. Yeah, really, with the, our team. Then I talked to them, and but somehow something happened and I left the California beer. Yeah? And I joined the Somerset Quillier. Then he said, you will lead the team. I said, it's okay. And um, luckily, we won the tournament that, that year even. I mean, we did not uh, have a big names that year, but all local U.S. players, uh, they, were, they were much familiar with the conditions and yep. they were playing good cricket all over the U.S. And that gave us a good momentum from there. And uh, I mean, that gave a good, uh, I will say, attraction to the Slum Khan team owner as well, that, okay, we have yeah. a good team, okay? Yeah. And yeah. after that, after that, it started building team very well. And now I will say, Somerset Cavalier is a big name in U.S. cricket. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you people know, everyone... know the Somerset Cavalier all yeah. over the world, I will say, where yeah, they play yeah, the cricket, yeah. actually. 
Yeah, no, yeah. everyone knows, you know, Somerset, because, you know, they always end up at least in the top four and usually always in the finals as well. So, you know, it's really exciting because, you know, like, they perform really well. Everything just goes well. So it's it's definitely something that in U.S. Open, everyone gets intimidated when they see they're playing against the Somerset Cavaliers. Yes, everybody is uh, keeping eye on us, basically. Yeah, so they will <laughs> see how we will play, actually, this year again. Exactly, so I am exactly. getting a lot of messages from the other people that, okay, we are looking forward for your team and we will see your matches. I said, yeah, I mean, we are ready for it, but it's cricket. You never know. Yeah, exactly. cricket is a funny game. Yep, yeah, yep. so you can't guarantee anything, but uh, we have a good team, I will say, and we have a good chance, chances again this year. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, even if we go a little bit back in time, like, you know, playing professional cricket back at home, when you came to America, did you really imagine, you know, that you would become someone who is actually playing in most tournaments around the country as well, and, you know, being a core member of the U.S. Open? Okay, so there is another story. <laughs> So I played cricket in England as a professional uh, uh, for 10 years, from 2004 to 2014, okay? So in 2014, in, in England, basically, they implement a rule, basically. So whenever a professional come to England, he will pass a level two coaching course, and he will also pass a child protection course, okay? Somehow I passed the level two uh, coaching course, but I missed my child protection course, okay? And when I applied in 2015 for uh, for a visa, professional cricket visa, they refused that visa, okay? And due to that, they said you, you did not complete the course last year, so we will not allow you to play this year. And uh, once you complete the course, then you can come and play in England. I said, okay. So I was free in Pakistan in 2015, and someone reached me from US, okay? That uh, I will, okay, I will say the name, Shahid Malik from Smart Choice, okay? Yeah. He lived in Michigan, basically. He reached me and said, okay, so you are free. We have a couple of tournaments. Would you like to come here and play the tournament? I said, why not? I'm free and definitely I will come and play. Since that date, I'm playing in US and I stopped playing in England basically. And then I mean, in 2017, I played for Punjab Lion here in Dallas. And you know the Lavkesh Kalia? He's the team owner of Punjab Lion. And yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he's currently the team owner of Mustang Irving, minor league cricket team. So when I came for him and he said, uh, okay, so you are an international player. Uh, you are uh, good chances to get a green card. Do you want to settle in the US? I said, okay, if there is opportunity, definitely I will go for it. And then we talked to a few attorneys and um, they said, yeah, you are an international player and you have really good chances. There is no, no guarantee, but yeah, there are like 80, 90% chances. Then we went for the green card and I applied for the green card as a EB1, extraordinary ability, basically, uh, international professional. And luckily, I got a green card within four months. So yeah. after that, then I settled in the US and then I stopped, started playing cricket all over the US. But you know, whenever, I mean, I have, a, I have, I play always with the dedication, okay? So I am a professional, I know I am an international player, people watch me. So I always carry my name, okay? I always give my 100%. That's the reason I played most of the tournament in the U.S. and I won most of the tournament, okay? Because of that dedication and commitment, very simple, as you say. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's really important to see that dedication because even with the U.S. Open, you know, there's many youngsters or many players who are trying to make it into USA cricket, which is, you know, really exciting to see. And they really look up to, you know, seeing that dedication. So it's great to see that. Yeah, I mean, I always advise, advise youngsters, yeah. Uh, put some extra effort. I mean, if you want to become a professional cricketer, it's not easy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, when you watch matches on TV, it looks easy, but it is not easy. You oh, don't know yeah. the hard work behind that. Okay. How much yeah. a professional do a hard work? Yeah. So yeah, I always uh, advise youngsters and I always uh, guide them basically. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, exactly. it's not an easy journey if you want a professional cricketer, but if you work hard and if you become a professional cricketer, life will be much easier then. I yep, will say. Yep. Especially yeah, if you have that cricket passion, you know, you definitely need that dedication. Otherwise, you know, you won't be able to go forward with it. So that's really important. Now, sure. how is your preparation going, you know, for the U.S. Open, you know, training? I know you just came from the gym as well. So how is the preparation going? And then when do you leave for Florida? 
Uh, yeah, so training is going pretty well. Uh, luckily, as I said, I am playing a cricket from last two, three months. Okay, I played yeah. a couple of tournaments. We played a minor league as well uh, here in Texas. And recently, I played a tournament. So that's good for me, basically. So I am in a nick, basically, I will say. Okay, so that will help me. And similar, other players, they are also playing cricket. Yeah, although uh, we are uh, going through a tough time, but still, uh, we are prepared for, uh, for it. and. Uh, yeah, so the other thing, I mean, as I said, I just came back from the gym. So fitness is always the first thing. Yeah, If you are a professional, you have to be fit. And then you can deliver in the ground only. So we are working on the fitness as well, same time. So yes, preparation is very good, I will say. Yeah. And I guess with, you know, the teams, have you guys already started like, you know, talking to each other, or having meetings and getting the preparation together? Uh, yeah, we have a WhatsApp group. Basically, we we communicate with each other, and um, I mean everybody is they are doing their job. On I mean, if someone is in DC or someone is in New Jersey, so they are doing practice individually or like three four uh, players in a group, basically. So yes, I mean they are we are communicating with each other, each other and we are leaving early for the Florida. Yeah, like uh, uh, we will do a two practice session like uh, Saturday. Uh, sorry, Sunday and Monday, basically. Okay. So, tournament is starting from the Tuesdays. Yeah. So, that will help us, basically, to build a, a chemistry, team chemistry, yeah? yeah? Those two sessions, those are very important for us. And, yes. Yep. So, now, do you have any words for um, MAC, U.S. Open, especially the Cricket Council USA? You know, I think it's really tough with the situation, them being able to pull off a tournament that's ICC sanctioned, USA sanctioned, and making sure they have all these protocols because we know, you know, with this whole COVID situation, it gets a bit scary, but luckily, you know, all these preparations, all these precautions are also being taken care of at the facilities to keep players safe and worry-free. Right, so, I mean, it's not easy to manage a tournament, especially in current circumstances, but I always uh, give credit to them and their team, basically, they organize this tournament every year. And they organize it really well, actually. Yeah, they brought a lot of international players. If you look uh, previous years, yeah. So yeah, credit go to that uh, entire team, I will say. And especially this year, it's not easy at all. But I know basically they focus all year on this tournament, and they they have some good plans. Basically, they reduce the team this year, and they just limit eight teams. So that way, they can manage it instead of putting like 20 or 30 teams yeah. in current situation, very difficult to handle. So they, they, they made a smart decision, I will say, yeah, limit the eight teams and hopefully it will go good. And again, yeah, all credit to goes to them. Basically, they are putting a lot of effort behind this whole tournament. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I know, you know, we met even last year. So luckily, hopefully Somerset, you know, still does what they do best and they make it to the finals and win that trophy again, which will be really exciting. So I want to wish you all the best, the team all the best as well. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, we will try our best and let's see. Let's hope for good. Yep, definitely. Thank you so much for taking the time and joining me.